Hey guys, Long Haul Larry, and we are here in ADL shop. A lot of you guys have asked where the black truck is. I've kind of looked at, showed you guys a little bit that yes, I did go there, and um, it was at a different guy's shop. I wouldn't really even call it a shop. Um, it's more like a junkyard. Um, I was talking to boss. I said, you know, this guy would be good at a junkyard, but actual shop. You know, uh, it's a horrible place to work. It's really bad. But I was able to get everything on the engine. We did get the engine started and got it out of there. Now I need to go through and fix everything and make sure it's all working properly. One of the big major things with this, uh, I've been doing all kinds of different little things. Um, I put all the fairings back on. For some reason, a tow truck driver needed to take off that hauled it back from Indiana. I'll never understand that. The guy was just bad. Okay. I even talked to the guy. He works there and he just, it's crazy. But I mean, he took everything apart. He piled it all in the back of the bunk and stuff. And, and all you have to do, he's like, oh, they rip off when you haul them backwards. And well, for one thing, I don't know why he needed to haul it backwards. Why not just lift it up and take off the axle? You know? But. With these things here, all you gotta do is just take these bolts out the center. And these fairings, they fold in. They go in. And then you just strap them across. Done. <laughs> but instead, he took 50 some bolts out, took all the fairings off, and piled them in the back. Whatever. It, it just, it's just a mess. But need to go through this thing, get it all taken care of. One of the big major problems with it is the clutch doesn't work. And this is the second time that the boss has had this guy working on stuff and then and then he's always having me go back over the top of it and fix things up right and this is the second time we've had a clutch that he's done and it doesn't work and i know why um he has removed the clutch and did not put the shipping bolts back into the clutch before he removed it so now the clutch is sprung so now i have to reset the clutch Problem is, is that we don't have a press. I'm going to try to do this without a press quick. I'm going to see if I can do it. If I can't do it, then I'm going to have to go buy a press. Um, it's the only thing I can, I can think to do. So when you install one of these clutches, this is a um, an Eaton uh, Advantage self-adjusting clutch. And what they do, it's a self-adjusting. So it has this little wear tab on here. And as the clutch wears, this wear tab goes down to the replace. Well, it's almost down here now. If it gets into here, you need to replace this. Um, this clutch has maybe, I don't know, 20, 30,000 miles on it. That's it. It's pretty much brand new. This is the clutch that was out of the black truck. And right before I started driving it, um, we ended up having this issue with this guy, same thing, and we ended up having to replace the clutch. So this is a pretty much a brand new clutch. And he, <clears throat> what happens is when you receive a clutch, it will have four bolts in these holes. And you mount the clutch on, and then you take these bolts out, and that releases the clutch. It releases all the springs and stuff in it. When you take the clutch off, if you plan on reusing the clutch, you have to reinstall these bolts before you take it off. If you don't, it all springs out, and you can see this tab. This tab should be up over here someplace. So now what I need to do is I need to press this back. And if you can press the, 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 the pressure plate back up in there, then you'll be able to take this and reset this back up. And then install the bolts, and then you can reinstall it. And then you release the bolts on the truck, and then it'll work. But I don't have a press. So what it is, is the shipping bolts are 7 16 by 14 by 1 and 3 quarter. These are 2 inch ones, and I'm just putting a couple washers on. And what I'm going to try to do is I'm going to try to use the bolts to compress it. I don't know if this is going to work or not. It's either this or I'm going to have to go get a press. Which shop should have a press anyways. But I'm going to get in there. 
So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to slowly start to go. I'm just going to give it a pop. And I'm just going to try to work this thing around. Okay, you can see it's pulling it. It's not. I don't think it's going to happen. These things have a lot of force. On them. They're very heavy too. They're about 150 pounds. The only thing I could see to do is see the spring plate is loose now. There's no pressure on it. The only thing that I can see to do, what needs to happen is there's a, a spring cone thing inside there that needs to be pressed in. I thought by doing that, that would pull that in enough, but I don't think it has. The only other thing is I need to get the intermediate off, get, then I can, then this would come off. And it looks like it's these bolts right here. If I remove these bolts and I have it locked, that way it can't go anywhere. Then I can press it down. I may be able to, I'll have to probably get a press. I'm going to call Eaton on it. I'm just going to talk to them about it and everything and see if it's uh, what they say here. All right, guys, we are back. I've had a day of running. But, I don't know if you can see this or not, but the little tang right here, see it's back in a new position. Um, I I went online, because you should have a shop press anyways. And... So then I went over to this transmission place that does all the transmission. And they, they, they're eating, that's what they do. And I went over and I talked to those guys. And he goes, let me go talk to my dad. So then his dad, he owns a place or whatever. He comes out and he goes, so you're looking to reset a clutch? And I said, yes. Another guy pulled it out. He didn't put the, the shipping bolts back in before he pulled it out. So it sprung and now it won't work. And he's like, yeah. He goes, I can tell you right now, I don't think it's going to work. He goes, I've tried to do this in the past and it never works. And he goes, you're better off just buying a new clutch. He goes, I can sell you a new clutch. And I'm like, it's a brand new clutch. This is a brand new clutch. And I said, I've watched a video on it that Eaton sent it to me. And it looks very simple. And he goes, well, we could try it. And he goes, well, I'm not guaranteeing. I said, that's fine. So I gave it to him. He put it in there and, he, and his son had it in there. And I started to talking to him and he was walking all funny and he was telling me he just broke his back and he just had a big rod put in his back and everything. And I'm like, dude, I'm with you. I says, I had the same thing. And we were talking, he just had the surgery at the end of January. And he's like, oh my God, I hurt so bad. And I'm like, I know. I says, I get you, man. And I says, it get better. I says, you see me, I'm moving around better. And his son pressed it down in there and his dad told him what to do. And his son was on over at the press and he pressed it down in there. And he's like, I got him to move and he could hear him. He was pushing on it and then he would release it and it would go bling and he would bling and it would just spring back. And I said, no, I says on that video, I says, I think you have to hold it when you release the pressure of the, pre the press. And he's going, no, no, that's not how it works. And I'm like, that's what it, they sent me, the video they sent me, they, that's what it shows. And they're like, no, it never works. And so then they wanted to sell me a new clutch. And I don't think they were trying to sell me a new clutch. It's getting long. But... Then they gave it back to me, and then they were going to give me an estimate on a new clutch. And he's like, you're just going to waste time putting a clutch back in there. It's not going to work and everything else. And I said, well, you know, he gave me an estimate. It was $1,100 for the clutch. And I'm like sitting there, and I went and got my phone, and I played that video again. And I looked at it, and sure enough, they have it in there, and it shows them. They push it over. It says, hold it to where it is. Release the pressure on the press all the way, and it will hold. And I went back in and I showed his dad that video. And I said, I'm just showing this to you. And he looked at it and he goes, okay. He goes, we'll try it once more if you want. And I was like, I appreciate it. So I, we got it back out. 
the kid put it back in there i showed and they get and the kid goes well i released the pressure and stuff and i'm like i didn't see you do that i kept hearing you go twing twing but you weren't releasing the pressure and i showed him this quick you know it was like a five second part of the video where they show him doing that and he goes well i didn't release all the pressure and i said well that's what they're doing so then he put it back in the press he held it over there released it off and he's like it held and I said, cool. I said, now just put these bolts in. And I gave him these bolts. And I said, just put them in so they're finger tight. And he did that. And, oh, I guess that's how it works. <laughs> so I taught those guys something too. <laughs> so we are set to go, hopefully. Hopefully we are good to go. So now what we got to do is I got one more step I got to do. And I got to. So I just have a flat, flat piece of metal here. I think it's fine. I don't think it's. It's not a perfect straight edge or nothing, but we really don't know. I just need this from here to here. It's, it's fine. So, we'll take our tape measure and put it down on here. In fact, I'm going to go over here because the bolt is right here. Put it on there, and we have an inch and five-eighths. So, I need an eighth of an inch. So, you can't see it, but... but um. The bolt is right underneath here. So I'm gonna tighten this up. And what that's gonna do is pull this plate down. And if you don't do this, I guess, about a, about a 16th. If we don't, if you don't do this, then what um, Eden says is that it will drag, the clutch will drag. And it will heat up and wear a thing out. This is how you reset a clutch that has been sprung outside of the truck. So one and three quarters. I'm going to give it just another little tiny bit. And it's hard to spring it. Wing. It's a little bit more. <clears throat> it says minimum of one and three quarter. There we go. So that's good. So now we're going to flip this around. To the other side. The bolt is right underneath there. Same thing. We're at one and five eighths. Try that. Shy. Yeah, we're right on the mark. Another couple cranks. Check that over there. Perfect. So now we got two more bolts. Check this one. So we're about a sixteenth shy. Because the two ones here, they're going to pull this down too a little bit. Actually, this one is hold up you can feel it yeah there anyway this is this is an um I'll be honest with you um it's not that I know everything it's that I learn things and I'm gonna be honest with you, I didn't know how to reset this. And so what I did is I called, I called Eaton and I talked to him about it. Told him the issue I was having, talked to our customer support, their technical people. And they uh, tried to explain, they explained a little bit on the phone and then the guy was like, you know what? I can just send you a video. And I'm like, videos are good. Let's 
so he sent me the video a little bit more and that's how I learned it and then I was able to pass it on pass on the knowledge to the guy who made a mistake I was actually there today and I explained to him what was going on and I told him I said just for future notice so if you do another one of these this is what you got to do Okay, that one I need to go. No, that, okay, it's good. I'm gonna double check these. I'm gonna put that one on a little bit. I get them all exactly the same. There we go. That's good. Um, so I just, um, you know, there's questioning and stuff for these companies. I mean, they're they are willing to help you out most of the time. And um, so now we know, and now we can fix this, you know. And I like learning new things. Um, so I got to get some paper towel and some brake cleaner, clean the surface up. So these pads right here, this pad is going to go on it and it's going to sit just like that. Um, and then the intermediate pad, the intermediate rotor, maybe you want to call it. I don't know. Is this right here. And then this will sit on top of there, and then the bolts will go back in that I took out. So I'm going to have to clean this up too. But um, I'm going to do, the, like I said, I'm going to do this on a clutch jack so I can have the alignment sh shaft through here to have this all lined up. Because once I put this on and bolt it down, it's going to be tight. I won't be able to move this inner pad, and that's going to make it real hard to get it on there. So I might as well just do it right away. There you go. So like I said, I gotta put this on the tool, like I'm just showing you right now how it's gonna sit. So it'll just sit like that there. And then these bolts right here will go in and that's what holds that. That went on there with these little spring deals on the side. And I will put, um, looks like there was blue Loctite on there. I was thinking I'll put red on there. Cause I mean, you're never gonna take this apart. There's no reason to ever take this apart. Um, these clutch plates here, you always want to look at them and it'll tell you which way they go. There's a printing on them that says intermediate plate side. This is the intermediate plate. So you just want to put those the right way. So that's going to be facing this way. And then there's another clutch pad that's over by the truck over there that goes on last. And that one goes up against here and goes against the flywheel. That has printed on it. And it'll say intermediate. Sometimes they say flywheel side on them. Sometimes they don't say that, but they will say one or the other. So you just want to make sure that you put them on the right direction. So I got to go and um, and um, and get the clutch jack all ready and everything. And then I can put this all together and put those bolts in there. And start putting this clutch back in there. Well guys, the clutch is back in. Um, I didn't, I don't record this stuff with the other mechanic. Uh, he doesn't want to be recorded on video and stuff. Um, or my text thing going off. Um, he, you know, he doesn't want to be recorded. And I, a lot of these things that I'm doing and stuff, I have to get help with because of my back and stuff. And so when he has to assist me with things, then I don't record that stuff. But we put the clutch back in. We dropped it back in after we reset it. And, um... Put the training back in and everything and came up in here and guess what you just i can do it by hand and there it goes all the way to the floor now after you do that what eaton says you should be doing is depress that five times you depress the clutch five times and that will reset the clutch and it will seat the clutch and if your clutch is ever out of adjustment too if it feels like it's slipping or something like that and you're the driver, 
to maybe advance it, to advance the clutch a little bit. You actually don't need to go underneath there or nothing. All you do is just, while you're sitting someplace, depress the clutch five times. And that advances the cam inside here that's supposed to reset it and advance it a little bit to adjust your clutch. So did that and everything is working properly. So now we have a functional clutch in the black truck. So I'm just moving on with different things with it and um, and uh, just tucking things up with it and everything else and working, a lot of work to do on it, just trying to get everything all put back together right and doing everything right. So I'm going to let you guys go. I hope that everybody out there is having themselves a great day, great night as you watch this here video. And if you're not, you can just certainly try that all over again tomorrow. So I really hope that, I hope that helps somebody. Um, I actually did not know that myself and um and how to reset it outside the truck and all i did is just contact eaton and talk to them about it and they shared the information with me and i thought that'd be very helpful for somebody out there why would you take off a used clutch and then put it back on you probably think i never do that anyways usually never but if you swap in motors and you got a good clutch well then that's the case or if you want to investigate, you want to look in there and you may be hearing some issues and you need want to take the clutch off or something. Just make sure you put those shipping bolts in there. And if you don't have those shipping bolts from when it was installed, they are 7 16 by 14 uh, bolts and they need to be one and three quarter inches long. And um, that's that's all you need. You can just go to a hardware store and buy them. Um, I actually couldn't find one and three quarters. I could get one and a half or two. And so then I just piled a couple washers on it and make it one and three quarters. So there you go. So I hope that helps somebody out there. If they ever come across a situation and then you put the clutch back in and go, why is it not working? That's why. So I'm going to let you go. See ya.